The Appomattox Court House is a national historical park of original and reconstructed 19th-century buildings in Appomattox County, Virginia. The village is famous as the site of the Battle of Appomattox Court House and containing the House of Wilmer McLean, where the surrender of the Confederate Army under Robert E. Lee to Union Commander Ulysses S. Grant took place on April 9, 1865, effectively ending the American Civil War. The McLean House was the site of the Surrender Conference, but the village itself is named for the presence nearby of what is now preserved as the old Appomattox Court House. The park was established August 3, 1935. The village was made a national monument in 1940 and a national historical park in 1954. It is located about 3 miles 5 kilometers east of Appomattox, Virginia, the location of the Appomattox Station and the new Appomattox Courthouse. It is in the center of the state about 25 miles 40 kilometers east of Lynchburg, Virginia. The historical park was described in 1989 as having an area of 1,325 acres 536 hectares. History of the village The antebellum village started out as Clover Hill. Named after its oldest existing structure, the Clover Hill Tavern c. 1819. The village was a stagecoach stop along the richmond Lynchburg Stage Road. The activity in Clover Hill centered around Clover Hill Tavern. The tavern provided lodging to travelers. Fresh horses for the stage line were also provided at the stop, which had been done since the tavern was built. It was also the site of organizational meetings and so when Appomattox County was established by an act on February 8, 1845, Clover Hill Village became the county seat. It was parts of Buckingham, Prince Edward, Charlotte, and Campbell counties. The jurisdiction took its name from the headwaters that emanate there, the Appomattox River. Early Virginians believed the name Appomattox came from an Indian tribe called Apumtek. From about 1842, Hugh Rain basically owned most of the Clover Hill area. He obtained it from his brother John Rain who defaulted on his loans. Later, he sold the property to a Colonel Samuel D. McDearman. Since his acquisition, it became the county seat and he surveyed 30 acres 12 hectares of the hamlet. He designated two acres 0.81 hectares to be used by the new county to build a courthouse and other government buildings. The courthouse was to be built across the stage road from the Clover Hill Tavern. The jail was to be built behind the courthouse. McDearman divided the remaining land surrounding the courthouse into one acre 0 .40 hectares lots. He felt that with Clover Hill's new status as a county seat he would find professional people ready and willing to purchase the lots. His hopes were later dashed in 1854 as the train depot stopped three miles 5 kilometers west in Appomattox, Virginia. The American Civil War put the final nails in the coffin. The district once known as Clover Hill and later renamed to Appomattox Court House continued to decline as businesses moved to the area of the Appomattox Station. The village contained 30 acres 12 hectares of the original Pattison's Clover Hill Tavern property of some 200 acres 81 hectares. Rain provided the Clover Hill Tavern for meeting space for the organization of the new county in May 1845 and naming the township Clover Hill. The county records show and be it further enacted, that not exceeding thirty acres of land, now occupied by Captain John Rain, in the now county of Prince Edward, lying on the stage road leading from or through said county to the town of Lynchburg, at the place called and known as Clover Hill, the proposed seat of justice for the said new county, so soon as the same shall be laid off into lots, with convenient streets and alleys, with back and cross streets if necessary, shall be and the same as hereby established a town by the the name of Clover Hill. According to a Union writer at the time of the American Civil War, the village consisted of about five houses, a tavern, and a courthouse all on one street that was boarded up at one end to keep the cows out. There were actually more dwellings in this obscure hamlet, some of which were off the main village street. There were a large number of cabins and outbuildings. The hamlet had two stores, law offices, a saddler, wheelwright, three blacksmiths, and other businesses. A tavern had been built by John Rain in 1848 that became the celebrated McLean House. Many rural counties in the southern states had county seats whose names were formed by adding courthouse two words to the name of the county, hence the village name became Appomattox Courthouse. It presently has a couple of dozen restored buildings. 
Some of the notable buildings are the Piers House, McLean House, New County Jail, Jones Law Office, Clover Hill Tavern, Woodson Law Office, Bacchic Isbell House, Mariah Wright House, Plunkett Meeks Store, Sweeney Connor Cabin, Charles Sweeney Cabin, Sweeney Prisery and the Old Appomattox Courthouse. There are also various ruins and cemeteries within the village. At the time of the Act of Congress that authorized the Appomattox Courthouse National Historical Park in 1935, the existing buildings were the Clover Hill Tavern, the Tavern Guest House and Kitchen, the Woodson Law Office Structure, the Plunkett Meeks Store, the Bacchick Isbell House, and several residences outside the village limits. There are several markers throughout the field of the village that show points of interest within the park. Some of these are the sites of General Lee's and General Grant's headquarters, the site of the apple tree where General Lee waited for General Grant's reply on the morning of April 9, 1865, the line of General Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain's temporarily commanding the 1st Division of the 5th Corps, drawn up to receive the Confederate arms on April 12, 1865, and the position of the last cannon fired by the Confederate artillery on the morning of April 9, 1865. There is also a monument and two tablets that were erected by the state of North Carolina describing the last engagement of the armies this same morning. General George Armstrong Custer of Little Bighorn fame received a flag of truce at the village of Appomattox Court House that brought about the discontinuance of hostilities of the Confederate and the Union armies leading to the surrender meeting between General Lee and General Grant at the McLean House. The program for the development of the park calls for a partial restoration of Clover Hill and the hamlet of Appomattox Court House to its appearance in April 1865. This will constitute for the people of the United States a memorial to the termination of the American Civil War. World War II stopped temporarily the development of the park, however it was resumed in 1947. Some structures in the village that were built after 1865 were taken down that did not represent a true picture of the end of the Civil War. In 1954, Virginia State Route 24 was relocated south of the Appomattox Courthouse Historical Park so the National Park Service could restore the Richmond-Lynchburg Stage Road to its 1865 appearance. Also this would allow the National Park Service to do archaeological exploration at the original Appomattox Courthouse building. Gallery See also American Civil War Confederate States of America Origins of the American Civil War Conclusion of the American Civil War Turning Point of the American Civil War Military of the Confederate States of America Notes <laughs>